Hi, I'm Bob Hansman with the Security Products Group at Infoblox, and today I want to share highlights from three different industry reports from Forrester Consulting and the Analyst Program at the SANS Institute. The survey data and analyst expertise shared in these reports highlights the need to consider how we can better integrate various aspects of NetOps and SecOps in ways that will benefit both organizations. Now, if you've been in security for very long, you're likely aware that historically NetOps and SecOps haven't gotten along. NetOps is tasked with providing a reliable network, but they've had experiences where outages, interruptions, or just a flood of help desk calls can come in the wake of some security change. But the SecOps team is also tasked with securing users and data, but often run into roadblocks on the networking side that can delay the deployment of an important new tool or just critical updates to the existing security services. But each of these teams is getting greater visibility at a business level, and that's reshaping the relationship as they begin to realize that they're both ultimately responsible for the success of the organization. So today I'm going to review five areas where these three analyst reports highlight how both NetOps and SecOps can benefit from tighter cooperation. Now, the first benefit is optimized network performance, which at first glance appears to be solely a NetOps benefit, since this is perhaps their primary objective. But SecOps also needs a reliable network to maintain security visibility control. And when they have confidence in that network, that allows them to treat network performance issues as potential indicators of cyber activity, such as when a server error could be the result of a ransomware encryption taking place, or bandwidth being consumed at a particular time of day could be the result of some massive data theft. The fact is that both NetOps and SecOps have a number of common challenges. Now, in the survey report from Forrester entitled, A 2020 Visibility Clarifies Network Security, the survey respondents indicated nine areas where they face exactly the same challenges in both NetOps and SecOps. In fact, roughly half of the respondents pointed out that they have challenges in a lack of automation, a shortage of skilled workers, and both said that they are lacking visibility on both the networking and security side. They both need visibility from each other to be more effective. So the second benefit is early threat detection, which also now looks like a purely SecOps benefit, where they're obviously going to use network data to look for indicators of compromise that maybe they can't even see that kind of indicator elsewhere. Or maybe they're just using the network access to give them IPAM data so they can provide context around a security alert to an event such as when it needs to be tied to an IoT device or a BYOD device, rather than just a company-issued laptop. But even when the analysis by the security tool fails to identify anything truly malicious, some of those security policies could actually provide the networking team with alerts to threats to their network performance, such as when a conference television or other smart device is showing unusual levels of internet activity at odd hours. NetOps will want to know more than just how many bytes of data were being sent that they might get from a firewall or other networking tool, but they may want to know like what domain was it trying to connect with, how often is it trying to do that connection, and was any data sent over perhaps through channels that are not being monitored like DNS. Now here's a great example from the Forrester Consulting Report called a Total Economic Impact. And this is where NetOps allows the SecOps team to integrate DNS detection and response within the DNS architecture. Forrester reported that this filtered out a majority of events and threats before they reached downstream network security devices. Now, one customer has actually reported a 70% decrease in malicious activity even reaching their firewall because they are now implementing DNS security. So doing security at different points in the network can actually provide both performance and security benefits throughout the organization. Now, the third benefit is efficient incident response. Again, sounding a little bit like a SecOps pure benefit, but NetOps can eliminate the urgent request interruptions that they're going to get from SecOps every time they want information like details about a particular device that showed up in an alert because that particular IP address was being used. But it was also trying to be correlated with other events from perhaps the same device uh, several days ago when it was off-site or at a different point in the network with you know, DHCP issuing perhaps different IP addresses over time. Overall, with on-demand access to IPAM or a similar solution, 
or the automated transfer of event-related network data, SecOps can triage and investigate much faster. One customer reported they are spending over half their investigation time just gathering all the data until they were able to automate the process and are now processing twice as many alerts in the same amount of time with the same resources. In the SANS Institute report, written by John Pescatori, the Director of Emerging Trends at the SANS Institute, he recommended the following. Now, you can read all this in white, but let's look at the bottom line. Where possible, common tools should be used across SecOps and NetOps. By sharing that information, both teams become more efficient, but it does require making it accessible. Now, the fourth benefit kind of carries on with that theme. It's called efficient use of resources, which we've alluded to pretty much through most of these benefits. The bottom line there is that by working together, NetOps and SecOps can share tools and resources, reducing the cost of maintaining the organization's IT infrastructure. For example, NetOps can provide SecOps with access to IPAM data and network traffic logs that can then be analyzed or correlated for security purposes while the SecOps team can provide NetOps with information on potential vulnerabilities, active threats that may be impacting performance so they know where to focus or where not to focus, or how to assist the SecOps team. And they can help identify other risks that could be mitigated through network or device updates or enhancements. And by the way, this also provides the NetOps team data that can be invaluable for capacity planning or other strategic NetOps functions. Forrester Research shared similar recommendations to those from the SANS Institute in the 2020 Visibility Report by calling out several benefits when cross-functional teams like NetOps and SecOps start using common tools. Now, beyond simply being more efficient, they called out that many organizations can become more agile and adaptive to business and technology changes. And they recommend at the bottom line, cross-functional teams need to leverage the same visibility data. This goes back to one of our very first survey reports in the 2020 Visibility Report, where the respondents basically identified that visibility into security data and network data was one of their top challenges. Now, the fifth and final benefit I wanted to highlight is regulatory compliance. The bottom line is that both NetOps and SecOps have a variety of compliance requirements, and they're not all the same. And while cooperation can help them meet those requirements, some of the biggest challenges are improving your compliance to auditors and regulators. By performing together, NetOps and SecOps can better automate the collection and analysis of all the necessary data in order to simplify the production of these onerous reports, giving both teams more time to spend on the things that they really need to get done. In fact, 81% of those surveyed for the Forrester 2020 Visibility Report agreed that better visibility would give them all the benefits that we've discussed, but they also called out compliance as a major benefit area. As you can see here at the bottom, more audit compliance capabilities. These are significant cost sinks for both organizations. Just from a money standpoint, that's a big win. But overall, the Forrester Research Survey showed that 80% of respondents felt that tighter integration was appealing or very appealing and would benefit both teams. In fact, I thought it was interesting that only 1% did not find some appeal to integrating together. So I hope this helps you see the potential of having NetOps and SecOps teams work together to help your technology and services be more efficient and secure. Collaboration between these teams can lead to improved network performance, early threat detection, effective incident response, efficient use of resources, and easier compliance with regulations and standards. Now, if you'd like to better understand the data and recommendation in these reports, you can download them for free on the InfoBlox website or contact us directly to learn how our network and security solutions can work together and with the other tools in your environment to help you more easily unite NetOps and SecOps and realize the benefits we've been talking about. Thank you. 